exfoliate. With the mask, it's really important to readjust the headband. Um, it gets a little messy, so I'm just gonna tuck all the little hairs away. And with her skin type, considering she is in the sun quite a bit and she has a little bit of redness around her cheeks. We're going to use the Total Aftercare Care Mask. This guy right here. Alright, so when you're working with jelly masks, you want to work quickly. Because it does harden right away. Now you can apply two different types of jelly masks depending on the skin type. If it, if it is a combination skin type, then you could apply the um, hydrating jelly mask and you can also apply the detox jelly mask. So you can apply the detox around her, her uh, T-zone as well. So totally up to you. Again, everyone is a different puzzle piece and hopefully everyone's coming in to do monthly facials with you. All right, so we're gonna add some water. Um, I know a lot of different estheticians use a squirt bottle. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm just gonna pour manually. So you wanna give it a vigorous stir so that it kind of looks like honey, like a, like a runny, thick honey, if that makes sense. So, it's messy. All right, Katrina, are you claustrophobic at all or? Anything that I should be aware of? No, don't think no. so. Okay, okay so I'm going to start on the forehead. You can work slow, you can work fast. You can work sloppy like me. as well because it is an awesome lip treatment so what this is doing is it's locking in that moisture allowing that skin to get all the nourishment and start to heal starting to dry already. It's kind of set. So you want to wait about 10 minutes um, for this mask to set. And 
then you're going to do another hand massage or another foot massage uh, depending on what she prefers she or he so if you are applying a jelly mask to a guy uh, with a beard you never want to go over the beard 